If the mainstream worldview was accurate, Gaza wouldn't be burning. The destruction of Gaza proves the entire mainstream Western worldview is bullshit, because if the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, the destruction of Gaza would not be happening. By the mainstream Western worldview, I mean the general consensus about what's going on in the world which is prevalent among mainstream Western politicians and pundits, and the creators of mainstream culture in New York and Hollywood. The worldview, which takes it as a given that Western democracy is real, that the U.S. and its allies are basically good actors on the world stage even if they make mistakes from time to time, that the Western news media pretty much tell the truth about things, or at least the media which align with the mainstream political faction we support, and that the world works pretty much the way we were taught in school. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, the U.S. and its Western allies would not be helping Israel rain military explosives upon a walled-in civilian population that's half comprised of children, because the mainstream Western worldview maintains that the U.S. and its Western allies behave in an ethical way, with high regard for human rights and well-being. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, the U.S. and its Western allies would not be assisting Israel while it deliberately starves civilians. Because, according to the mainstream Western worldview, that kind of collective punishment is a violation of the international law which the U.S. and its Western allies uphold and defend. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, we would not be continually reading stories about how large media outlets like CNN and the New York Times force their staff to slant their coverage in a way that benefits Israeli information interests. Because, per the mainstream Western worldview, the Western press are reliable sources of information, and propaganda is something that is only used by bad guys like Putin and Kim Jong-un. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, Hollywood and the Western news media would have spent six months united in passionate and consistent condemnation of Israel for its nonstop mass atrocities in Gaza. Because the mainstream worldview says we live in a truth-based society guided by ethical institutions. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, we wouldn't see Western officials standing behind podiums justifying the mass slaughter of civilians and denying obvious Israeli war crimes day after day and month after month. Because in the mainstream Western worldview, murdering civilians and facilitating war crimes is something that is only done by illiberal, undemocratic countries to the East and the South. If the mainstream Western worldview was accurate, the U.S. and its allies wouldn't have spent this time bombing people in Yemen, Iraq, and Syria who try to fight back in opposition to Israel's genocidal atrocities in Gaza because the mainstream Western worldview asserts that the U.S. power alliance is an upholder of peace and stability throughout the world. We simply are not seeing what we'd expect to see with regard to Gaza if the mainstream Western worldview was accurate. This is because the mainstream Western worldview is not accurate. It's a false narrative construct that has been carefully assembled inside each of our skulls by the most sophisticated propaganda machine that has ever existed. In reality, we do not live in a truth-based society that is guided by morality and governed by basically decent people. We live in a lie-based society that is guided by greed and the pursuit of power and is governed by unelected sociopaths. We do not live in the kind of world we were taught about in school. We live in a corrupt, mind-controlled dystopia under the thumb of an undeclared, globe-spanning empire which requires more and more violence and tyranny to sustain. Gaza should devastate any part of the mainstream worldview which still exists in your mind, because all the facts we are seeing right in front of our faces squarely contradict that worldview. Changing your worldview is not easy. It takes work. It takes sincerity. It takes a willingness to sit in the discomfort of cognitive dissonance while staring at facts which prove our perspective is misinformed and coming to terms with them. But it's the only way for an individual to come to a truth-based understanding of the world. And one day, it's how we as a collective will move into the creation of a real truth-based society.